Hey guys, welcome to the session on Coffee with Prab. I can say Cloud Security Krish podcast. Okay. It is really honor for us to have Krish again and in this session we're going to discuss something something special. So so Krish, what is what is today we are, we are cooking? Uh today we just want to discuss about the threats to cloud computing okay. some common okay. cloud specific threats we are having even though we have a lot more mm. we'll discuss some few of them today and basically you know mm. we have more podcast coming up definitely we'll have all the things covered by then okay that's a plan for today we'll cover the top threats in cloud computing some three four things we'll cl- cover today that's it that's a plan we mm. have mm. so um, what are the different type of threats so i do understand that when it come to the um, threats parts and all that i do understand uh, that it has a lot of advantage uh, it has a lot of concerns cloud itself is inherent risk and all that but do we have any kind of a special threats when it comes to cloud and if yes what are the recommendation you have for the 2024 and okay. what is the impact of that yeah okay so when talking about the threat in cloud computing at the end of the day again like as like you discussed in the previous videos cloud is just a fancy word we use for a remote data center that's it so because of that you know uh, when you basically go to cloud computing it have all the risk which is possible in the on premises whatever risk we have in the on premises we have it in the cloud as well plus cloud introduces some specific r- threats and risk which we are having which is not commonly pronounced in the on premises so to okay. discuss that initially like you know threat is what like when you have a weakness we have a vulnerability is a weakness uh, that particular weakness is basically what being exploited by a, something called as a threat and threat sometimes you... is basically like a mm-hmm. you you talking to your uh, girlfriend and wife come and see <laughs> that is also a threat exactly <laughs> you realize that right <laughs> okay. you also yeah indeed <laughs> yeah okay so uh, when talking about cloud computing you know we have a lot of risk which is specific to cloud computing i would give you some two three things which are very common which is very very specific actually the first thing mm. is that obviously what we call as a cloud management console the cloud management mm. console is a is actually a vulnerable a weak point we can call it as a single point of failure we have, we, we can call it as a weak point which can lead to the threats actually for example now when you go to on premises you have a web server you have a db server you have a storage so for all these things, you have different level of access controls monitoring firewalls and all the stuff but when it comes to the cloud platform we have one more additional layer which is called as a cloud management plane or cloud management console if you go to aws we have aws management console or azure portal or we have something called as a google cloud console whatever so all these things are basically where we it act as a entry point for everything so if you want to control or create something delete something modify something view something whatever it is in the cloud platform you can use either the aws management console or azure portal or aws cli or azure cli or api so we are able to access the cloud platform through this entry point and this entry point is basically what targeted by the attackers because there is a lot of ways we can compromise that and that is one major challenge i want to inf- tell you is that the cloud management plane misconfigured management planes actually because when you go for a cloud mean even though it's a separate video we will make for it but again the first threat i would like to discuss is basically misconfigured management planes that means that if the management plane is not I mean again it, it, there is a shared responsibility model there like we have discussed in our previous videos when talking about the management plane it is provided by the cloud service provider so providing the proper uh, you know your secure url secure backend is basically their responsibility but ensuring the proper controls are connected or ensuring the proper controls are implemented in the particular management plane is basically something which we have to also take care because again uh, uh, when you are logging into the cloud management plane we have to make sure that we need to have something called as a, a proper a strong password we must have a proper multi factor authentication we must have a strong a uh, log a uh, strong uh, login notification mechanism auditing mechanism so all these things must be there but even though we have all these things the cloud management plane is still a serious challenge for us because at a point of time just in case if there is attacker who is able to enter in your cloud console that means literally he can you know take up anything that's one major challenge we are having that's a first threat i would like to discuss when you go to a cloud computing the second threat i would like to discuss is basically what we call as a insecure apis even though it's there on premise as well cloud it's specific more special because when you go to a cloud platform this insecure apis is basically one of the major threats we are having the reason is because uh, like i go to the cloud platform i click on something to create something to delete something to modify something to update so whatever you do you are making an api call to the backend 
So for example, I go to a cloud platform, I click on view something. So I am just calling an API there. So that API is what basically go to the backend and help us to bring it to our table. That's what happens there. So that APIs, if there is the APIs get compromised due to any reason, if the APIs get compromised, that means it can lead to the cloud compromises. If you see the previous attacks or previous compromises happened over the period of last 10 years, a lot of stuff happened because of the compromised APIs, especially for things like bucket, like S3 buckets or those kind of object storages and all. This is one major challenge we are going to face in secure APIs. Last, so but what is the recommend? But, but before I want to discuss about the next mm -hmm. thread, I want to understand what what is the rec recommended countermeasure? Because when it comes to cloud, mm -hmm. in cloud, sixty percent services are running on APIs. When we having a multi cloud or hybrid cloud environment and all that, so how do you see that particular approach? And what is the recommendation for that? Okay, so when talking about APIs, APIs is basically unavoidable in cloud because without APIs, there is no cloud. So it's a it's an integral part of the cloud platform for sure. So how do we manage it? How do we make sure that this cloud thing, uh, that API thing, can be secure? The first thing is that whenever we are, when you go for a, a secu se secure business or when you go for a business where they prioritize information security, whenever we onboard a new application, we have a process, right? We have a process for onboarding it. We have a process for testing it before we basically let it in. But like the same way, whenever we are thinking about any third party APIs, we have to make sure that before we onboard that APIs to our cloud infrastructure or your our infrastructure, we have to make sure that we take it through the same kind of a assessment process. In fact, if you want, there is a OWASP top 10 for APIs also they have released where they have mentioned specifically about the 10 API security risk. So that is the first thing, have a proper review of the APIs. That's the first thing. The second thing is that continuous monitoring is also very important. Continu API activity monitoring. I'll give you a simple example. Now I have connected an API to one of my application or one of my cloud services, and it's currently working perfectly fine. But at a point of time, I realized that this API is generating a lot more traffic, which is not, uh, or which is not, which is not during a peak hour. That means there is something wrong, right? So that means that API is generating a huge amount of traffic without any kind of a you know request from the customer that means there could be something wrong so at end so that's the reason why i'm saying that we have to have a continuous monitoring for our apis as well these are two major things even though we have a lot more things these are two common things we can understand we can also have this code based authentications and secret key management also definitely by which we can able to yes exactly okay so yeah you're talking about the next threat Okay, so that's about the, uh, again, you know, uh, security or main threats in cloud computing. The next threat is a common threat where this is the point where, you know, whenever I take a session on CCSP or CCAK or CCSK or cloud governance or all these things, this is the first thing I want to always make sure that people don't make a mis misconfiguration and inadequate change management or change control, I'll say. Because if you if you see the threats, if you see the previous Capital One data breach, if you see basically the if you see the over the period of time, if you see almost every attacks nowadays, it is because of a misconfigurations in cloud computing. People assume that okay, this is basically the on-premises, and when I'm looking moving to the cloud platform, it will be exactly the same. No. Because in the cloud, misconfigurations is basically one of the top security which you're having. Again, it can, even though it's basically not only the consumer's concern, concern but misconfiguration can lead to a lot of challenges you are having, like it can lead to uh, loss of data, lack of main security compromises, compliance issues, and many. this is the first challenge we are having on the particular thing. And the second part of it is basically what we call as a uh, inadequate change control. That means that now we have onboarded a particular service or now we have basically following a process. Everything is working perfectly fine. But at a point of time, if I'm making some modification to it, if I'm adding something to it, so if I don't have a proper change management, it's a process by which we want to make sure that we are able to completely assess the change and reduce the impact of the change. So in that particular process we are doing, we want to make sure that we take all the changes, including the cloud changes to the uh, change management process. So these two things are very important for us, actually. That's a third and, thread. And, yeah. and when it comes to the requirement of implementation or uh, validations and all that about how you how you see the requirement and everything. So I want to understand one more important thing is that how do you see the overall all the threat perspective when it comes to the you know cloud environment and all that? Uh, Again, when you go to cloud computing, the threats are increasing day by day because, you know, now pre means I'll give you an easy explanation of that because I started my cloud journey in 2010. Okay, I started my journey in 2010. And 
at that time i ha i could i i can see that i was working in only in aws at that time so i was actually having uh, i see only some 20 to 30 services maximum in the aws console but if you open now you can see it is more than 300 services we have more than 300 services active and used to by the customers in the cloud platform that means cloud is being adopted by a lot of businesses uh mm -hmm. means um, for various purposes like containers are there Dev devops devsecops serverless satellite technology quantum computing mm -hmm. ai ml so for everything we are using cloud means again we will mm -hmm. make videos on that for for sure with team but again for, as these things are increasing on the cloud platform if any of these misconfigurations or lack of change management etc happens in the cloud platform it can lead to disastrous impacts like i'll give an mm -hmm. example now when let's say for example i am running a i am running a medical i, I have a a medical device manufacturer where i have something called as a insulin pump we have something called a smart insulin pump where mm -hmm. it will produce insulin based on the you know the main based on the blood sugar level it's a smart thing okay now what we do is that we will connect all these things all these things we will connect on to the cloud platform with the help of iot it means ai yeah. and iot and now that's how it's it's centrally managed so at a yeah. point of time if there is attacker he want to basically log, he, he he can compromise the cloud platform if there is a misconfiguration and if he make a mistake it can even cause a life as well so obviously from a very simple things to the very complex like the things like this this can impact massively if there is a misconfiguration or lack of proper change management happen that's great and and and, and i believe so in the, the threat actors and the threat perspective also got change in the last 5 uh, year when you see in the cloud now we have a threats associated the governance issues and other factors also correct me if i'm wrong definitely as yes, because we are we are facing a lot lot more new threats in cloud computing uh, when compared to the previous like over because uh, the the type of attacks the way they mm. the people are manipulating even mm. now social engineering when you when talking about cloud social engineering was not that much concerning previously but now it's more easy because cloud is basically having a lot of loopholes and weak points which can be easily figured by the attackers now so obviously you know the number of attackers increase in attacks increase in cloud every year for sure whatever controls we are implemented even though that's that's really strange and um, um, do you have any recommendation as a summary points the five action plan we have to take to address the known threats before you wind up this session definitely so when talking about this uh the first thing when when again we'll start from the starting point where we have a strong identity and access management nothing can basically be that that's the first thing have a strong identity and access management when i say strong it must be strong in every perspective multi factor authentication zero trust you can think about anything on that perspective so that is very important the first thing the second thing is that visibility have a visibility of what is happening in your cloud infrastructure that's a very important thing logging and monitoring is the most important part you need to have a proper visibility the third thing is that audit regular audits and assessment is basically very important when you go to a cloud platform have a proper process in a governance perspective i talk have a proper process for mm. everything in the cloud like the same way we have security policies compliance policies and all the stuff in the on premises for cloud as well have a particular cloud security policy cloud data data access policy like for example now i have a data i want to make sure it's if, whether it's i can i have decide whether it can be moved to cloud or not so have a proper policy for all these things and finally for all these things we are doing educate people that's a fifth and the most important point people must be aware of all these things at the end of the day we have developers we have testers we have devops guys devsecops guys management team so we have everyone using the cloud platform so we must have a proper understanding and awareness of all these things to all these thing that's a you know total five things i would say like to say as a first thing that's that's really great and uh, thank you thank you krish for your time and all that and we definitely we're looking forward for more sessions like that and uh, thanks for coming for this particular series and this is all from our side team if you new to the channel do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss the future videos with the krish krish do you want to say anything before you wind up like you know it feels so interesting team you know like interacting with people and basically uh, you know giving more insights like this and this have a, having a discussion with uh, prab so it's getting more more and more interesting for me as well so we will definitely record more videos and share with you for sure thanks a lot for watching and and do dear team do let us know you know what is the next video you want us to make with krish on this gun point and uh, we'll see how how we can go further and do share your suggestion in the comment box how to improve our further podcast which relevant to your requirement thank you so much team good day bye thank you team